Welcome to the Moore Realtors Weekly St. Louis Real Estate Market Update. I'm Dennis Norman, one of the brokers at Moore, and if you'll give me a few minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in the St. Louis housing market. Let's jump right in with the real estate news. Here are just a few of the headlines from this week from St. Louis's best local source of news and information on the St. Louis real estate market. That's stlouisrealestatenews.com. Headlines included the futures of housing. This is an article about how uh, uh, within just a couple of weeks here, you will be able to uh, bet on future home prices uh, through tradable co futures contracts over a uh, commodities exchange, just like you would uh, future oil prices, corn prices, or uh, or whatnot, or currency prices. An article on a St. Louis area foreclosure rate uh, increasing in third quarter, but uh, uh, being down significantly from a year ago. Uh, an article by a local mortgage banker uh, showing how FHA provides a, a great reliable alternative in this tight credit market and also with a interest rate update and a really interesting article about baby boomers uh, and that due to market conditions uh, a lot of baby boomers are deciding not to sell right now but they're certainly out there looking to buy uh, uh, investment property and again you can get all this and much more news and information on the St. Louis market by St. Louis people at stlouisrealestatenews.com now let's jump into the data the first two slides I'm going to go through here are, are all market data on the entire MSA, the St. Louis MSA, the entire St. Louis metro market, which will include uh, a few of the adjoining counties over on the um, Illinois side. This is all real-time market data. We have information like this available online 24-7 with real-time data, the best data you're going to find in St. Louis, and, uh, and a lot of it is the only place, we're the only place you're going to find it. You can find it at mo-re.com. That's M-O like Missouri dash hyphen uh, re like real estate.com we can see here for uh, this week meeting home prices uh, list prices are about 181,000 across the metro area most expensive listing on the market here is 7.25 million uh, average uh, asking price per foot 98 bucks a foot and the houses here have been on the market almost six months on average there's 18,779 houses on the market jump down here to our uh, market action index uh, we can see it is still cold. Buyer's market, and it's at a 12. It's down slightly from last week's 13. Quick reminder here, the market action index, a 30 would be a perfectly balanced market, not favoring buyers or sellers. All the conditions would be just right for a good market. Above 30, up to a high of 60, it is a seller's market. And the higher it gets, the more it's a, a hotter market. Below 30, down towards zero, the lower it gets, the colder it is. So obviously we're in a cold market. Here's a quick look at uh, where the market action index has been since its inception back in 2008. And we can see it's, uh, see it's bounced around. Uh, highest it's been in, uh, it, during the period uh, over three years is only 16.5. So it's barely made it halfway up to the, uh, the balance market. Uh, certainly not as low as it has been in the past. Okay, here is again on the St. Louis metro area. This is a history of a median uh, home prices. Uh, the orange line is a 90-day average, so a little uh, longer trend. The black line is a 7-day average, so it's a little quicker to show where the market's headed. It usually precedes, uh, you know, turns in the market. And we can see what prices have done. They've dipped down to a low here of a bet back in March. Uh, a high during the summer months, which we would expect, and have been trending downward, although we can see by the seven-day average here, at least in the last couple of weeks, they have been trending upward. So uh, next week we may very well see this line go back up, so we may not be uh, doing a little double dip here this year in St. Louis at least. Okay, now the, uh, the market data I'm going to get into, we're going to zoom in a little bit more on uh, what I call the core market here in St. Louis. This would, uh, all this data is based upon a five county area, which includes the city of St. Louis, St. Louis County, St. Charles County, Jefferson County, and Franklin County. And yes, I know the city of St. Louis is not a county, but since we have this unique situation and the city is not part of the county, I put that in there. So here we have a slide that shows the number of home sales and the average sales price. And this is for the past 12 months. And we can see the, the blue bars represent the home sales. And we can see September finished uh, fairly strong. Actually, September finished slightly ahead of July. Uh, the peak was back here in June, which would be expected. We can see the green line here, what's happening with average sales prices. 
definitely dipped down as we just like the temperatures did as we went into fall and the temperatures uh, fell a little bit so did home prices uh, showing a little bit of a trend upward though here uh, now this is a, uh, a slide that shows our chart that shows median home prices uh, of what they actually sold for and the uh, the days to sell median uh, amount of time to, uh, it took to sell those homes the green line represents the prices the blue line how long it took to sell them again this is for the past 12 months and we can see the the home prices have bounced around hitting a peak back in the summer months dipping down just like we saw in the prior slide into uh, fall here and and it's showing us a slight trend upward in October, but just being two weeks into October and with sales data uh, actually lagging several days behind a closing, we're not getting, you know, seeing a lot of data here yet for October, so wouldn't put too much on this trend yet. We can see days on market drop down uh, to a low here in June, uh, about 60 days, and uh, but it's heading well up into the almost the 90-day range now as far as the uh, median amount of time uh, homes have been on the market that are uh, selling. And uh, now this uh, chart here shows the, uh, uh, the relationship between the prices homes are selling at uh, versus what they were listed for at the time of sale uh, as well as at, when they originally came on the market. So uh, the green line here shows what the ratio, what percentage of the original list price homes are finally selling for. And then the blue line represents uh, uh, what percentage of the list price at the time of sale the homes are selling for. And so while this chart is not, I talk about this every week, this chart is not an indicator of home values or, or prices. What this is really an indicator of is a, a couple of things. One, where's the uh, market's headed to some extent. But in, in a market like this, it's more an indicator of how good a job are the listing agents doing out there uh, and how educated and informed are the sellers. So how well are the, these houses coming, uh, getting priced uh, relative to the market? And we can see down here with the green line, uh, homes are selling at, uh, even though they hit a peak of about 92% back in May, they're down to about 90% of the original list price. And that's really bad. Uh, that means uh, you know, the, the home really missed the mark, or the seller and the, the listing agent really missed the mark when it came out on the market. Uh, uh, because on, on average, to be selling for 10% uh, less than the list price is a pretty big chunk. <clears throat> Pardon me. And even the blue line uh, showing what homes sold for uh, relative to what they were listed at at the time of sale is only at about 96%. Now, that, that's certainly doing much better than the original list price, but this is after it's set on the market and after prices have come down. So, again, the green line being down here shows us that they're coming out price too high. Eventually, I guess the, uh, you know, agent seller somebody's waking up here and, and getting it and, and finally adjusting the price in a good healthy market uh, and, and if homes are being priced accurately obviously this number would be almost 100 percent but this right here shows how important it is to when, when you're thinking about selling your home uh, how important it is to select a company and an agent or a broker that has the the resources and the data available to them to know the market that studies the market, that understands what's going on in the market, and then has the ability to take all this data and just all this this stuff that's out there and bring it down and break it down and apply it to your situation, and then be able to set across the table from you and, and tell you what the uh, uh, you know the, the the truth is about your home, even if it's not what you want to hear, uh, because today there is just absolutely. It makes no sense whatsoever to price your home. <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> pardon me. To price your home higher than the market will bear. Prices continue to come down. If you read, uh, you know, go to State and Real Estate News. We report on every house price uh, uh, index that comes out. Uh, we have lots of data out there on St. Louis home prices. You can see, for the most part, prices are continuing to come down. So when you overprice your house. Uh, thinking, well, I'll adjust it later. Well, guess what? Between now and later, when you get around to adjusting it, it's worth less. So you're going to make a bigger adjustment. Uh, I can show you this over and over and over. If you price it right to start with, 
uh, even if you feel like it's it's lower than what you should have to price it at, in the long run you'll come out ahead. And uh, and that's again what we uh, we teach here at Moore, uh, our agents and our brokers and the other agents uh, uh, outside of our company that we work with understand this, and uh, we'd be happy to uh, to help you and apply it to your situation. Okay, enough of my spiel. Now we get on here. Here's uh, just a. I pull this up every week. It's a 10-year chart. It shows home prices and list prices over a 10-year period. And the blue line represents list prices over this period, green line sales prices. And, yeah, we can see the narrowest gap was back here in 01, really. Houses, uh, prices climbed, peaked, uh, actual prices peaked uh, probably 06, 07 here. Then have dropped down uh, in 09 to about the lowest point of uh, recent years. Uh, finished 2010 slightly ahead, but are definitely uh, prices are trending downward now. And if we drew a line across here, we can see home prices are pretty much in St. Louis about where they were sometime around 02, 03. Uh, that's pretty much you know consistent with national numbers nationally. Uh, usually when they uh, uh, make this or, or look at this they, they usually say word about the uh, early part of three prices unfortunately we see this gap between list prices and sales prices continuing to grow that would be okay if we were in a uh, market that was trending upward and prices were rising and sales were increasing and you know and this is really just a, an indicator that hey prices are starting to go up but in this market uh, Sale prices are not increasing, volume's not really increasing, so this uh, again just shows uh, uh, some unrealistic sellers and uh, a poor job on the part of uh, the real estate community uh, in terms of educating these sellers. <clears throat> now what I've shown you here is just a, a small piece of uh, a much bigger uh, uh, a chunk of data and information that we have available. Uh, again, at our website at mo-re.com, you can get uh, market data on any market in the St. Louis area. Uh, in fact, you can request market data. We've got market reports on uh, cities throughout the country. Uh, you do have to uh, inquire about those. So, uh, we have market reports that you can subscribe to that will give you weekly updates on a specific um, uh, community uh, within the St. Louis area. And you can stay in touch with what's going on. Uh, here's just a sample of a chart here. We've got a newsletter, a great newsletter you can sign up for. You can sign up for this either on uh, stlouisrealestatenews.com or at our website at mo-re.com. Newsletter comes out once a month uh, via email. It's filled with some charts with housing data, uh, story, uh, uh, news and stories related to housing or to the real estate market. Uh, with information for buyers, sellers. This is all original content that we create. It's not a bunch of this canned stuff that, that you'll see or you might get from agents or it's just some generic uh, you know, piece of, uh, uh, of information that's, that's sent out. This is all uh, original content uh, catered to, uh, or not catered to, but uh, uh, crafted for our market and based upon our market. Also, uh, we have a, a lot of other resources. You can catch this market video update. Uh, on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash more realtors or you can get it on our Facebook page uh, facebook.com slash more realtors and then go over to uh, click on the little uh, market update <clears throat> icon or catch us on iTunes uh, look for this uh, little arch logo here go to iTunes store search for St. Louis real estate market update boom you can uh, you'll see this click on this subscribe and you'll get this via podcast uh, weekly uh, there's me and my partner, John. We're here to help you. You can reach me uh, with any questions you have at 314-332-1012 or email me uh, through our website or dennis at mo-re.com. John is john at mo-re.com. You can call him at 314-414-4114. Again, we've got a ton of stuff available. Here's just a, a little sampling of that market update report that we've got. We've got it for... Uh, areas uh, throughout the uh, St. Louis area and this is just a uh, one little piece here you can see for all these different municipalities we've got median prices square footage how many homes are on the market how many new have come on just tons of info so uh, let us know what we can do for you here's the legal stuff please look that over at your leisure and until next week uh, thank you and God bless you